Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to continue our discussion of the mole. Today, molecules to mass conversions. Today's essential question, how is mass calculated from the number of molecules? For today's lecture, make sure you have both your periodic table and your unit conversion tables handy, as well as your calculators. Let's start with a quick review of the equalities we have used so far this unit. Um, these should be in your notes, and they are also on your unit conversion table in the mole section. So we have 1 mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, or 1 mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, and 1 mole equals molar mass in grams. And remember, molar mass is the um, mass found on the periodic table. And the unit is grams. Okay, so now let's learn how to do molecule to mass conversions. The truth is there's not really any notes to write down because you basically should know how to do this. Um, it's you, you've done conversions from mass to moles, and you've done conversions from moles to molecules. What we're going to do today is put both those conversions together. So we start by going through our normal steps. We read the question, which is, what is the mass of 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules of NaCl? Step one, let's write this as a math problem. So we will have 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules of NaCl equals x grams NaCl. Next thing we do is set up the grid and write our known. So, got our grid here and our known is 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules NaCl over 1. All right, next we need to um, find an equality that has the same units that are in our problem. So in our problem, we have the units molecule and the units gram. So let's go back and look at our list and see if we can find anything with molecule and gram in it. Well, our first equality is 1 mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Well, that doesn't have molecules, nor does it have grams in it. Then we have 1 mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in it. Well, that has molecules, but not grams. Let's keep reading. Um, our last equality is 1 mole equals molar mass in grams. That equality has grams in it, but not molecules. Okay, so remember that our problem, our math problem, was 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules of NaCl equals X grams NaCl. Okay, so um, again, molecules and grams, and it appears that our equality has, there is no equality, it has both molecules and grams in it, which means, drum roll please, we are going to have to use two equalities. We'll have to use the one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, and then we'll have to use one mole equals molar mass in grams. Which one do we use first? Well, if we go back and look at our grid, we'll notice that we have molecules um, at the top left-hand corner of the grid, and that's what we're trying to can cancel out, which means we should probably use the one with molecules in it first. So our first equality will be one mole of specifically, in this case, NaCl equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd 
molecules, NaCl. Okay, and being that we have molecules up at the top here, we're going to need to put molecules down at the bottom. So we'll have one mole. Oh, let's try that again. We'll have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, NaCl, at the bottom, and one mole, NaCl at the top. And let's see if those indeed cancel out. Molecule NaCl crosses out molecule NaCl. Let's look at the unit we have left. What we have left here is mole. That's not what we were looking for in our question, which means we need to use another equality. So we will use the one mole equals molar mass in grams. One mole NaCl equals the molar mass of NaCl, which we get from the periodic table. And when I added those up, I ended up with 58.44 grams NaCl. Please double check me and see if you agree. Okay. And now we need to put our second equality into the grid. Um, we have moles at the top, which means we need to put moles at the bottom. So we'll have one mole, NaCl, and we will have 58.44 grams NaCl. Let's make sure our units cross out. We have mole NaCl with mole NaCl. And let's see where we're at. We have grams NaCl, which is where we were supposed to be. So now all we need to do is solve. So when I multiplied across the top, I came up with 3.962232 times 10 to the 52 grams NaCl. And if we take a quick check of sig figs, I have three sig figs. We don't count this guy. And I have four sig figs, so I'm going to have three sig figs, which are these three here. The two is, um, the, the first two we're going to drop is five or less, which means we just drop. And it's after a decimal, so we don't need to have a placeholder. So that means I'll have 3.96 times 10 to the 52 grams NaCl. And when I multiply across the bottom, that one's pretty simple. I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And now we divide. And when I did that, I got 6.5. 758884 and some more numbers times 10 to the 28th grams NaCl. And if we look at sig figs, we have 3 and 4, so we'll have 3 sig figs. 1, 2, 3. The 5 is the first 5 we're going to drop is 5 or bigger, which means we have to round up. So we're going to have 6.58 times 10 to the 28th grams of NaCl. And that would be our final answer. Okay, now that you've watched me do one, why don't you try to hit pause, do this one on your own, hit play and see how you did. And so the first step is to write, this is a math problem, so I have 75 4.2 grams of CaCl2 equals X molecules CaCl2. And next I'll write, I'll draw the grid and put in the known. 
So I have 74.2 grams CaCl2 over 1. Okay, next step is to find an equality that matches the units given in our problem. So the units in our problem, we have grams and we have molecules. So looking at our potential equalities um, that we could use, looks like we could use the last equality because it has grams in it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have molecules. And looks like we could use the second equality because it has molecules in it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have grams, which means we're going to have a two-step problem. So now we need to figure out which equality to use first. Well, if we look at the top left of our grid, we have gram CaCl2, and we would like to be able to cross that out which means we should use one mole equals molar mass in grams, so we can cross out the grams. So our equality will be one mole of specifically CaCl2 equals the molar mass of CaCl2, which we get from the periodic table. And I solved and got the molar mass 110.98 grams CaCl2 with two decimals after, no, two digits after the decimal. Um, all right, so now being that we have grams CaCl2 at the top, we need to put grams CaCl2 at the bottom so they cross out. So we'll have 110.98 grams CaCl2 under one mole CaCl2. Gram CaCl2 crosses out gram CaCl2 and we're left with mole CaCl2. However, if we look back to our original question, we were actually looking for molecules, which means we're not done with the problem yet. So now we need to, we need to use the equality that has both moles and molecules in it. So this time we'll use the one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So one mole CaCl2 equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules CaCl2. And we have mole at the top, which means we need mole at the bottom. So one mole, CaCl2. And on the top, we'll have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecule, CaCl2. And mole CaCl2 crosses out mole CaCl2. We're left with molecules, which is where we want it to be. So last step is to solve. So if we start by multiplying across the top. When I did that, I came up with 4.468324 times 10 to the 25th molecule of CaCl2. And if we look at sig figs, we have three and four, so our answer is going to have three, which are those threes there. We look at the eight, which is five or bigger, which means we're going to round up. So let's rewrite this as 4.47. Times 10 to the 25th molecule of CaCl2 over multiplying across the bottom gives me 110.98. And from here we divide, and when I did that, I got 4.02. 
2 and some more times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CaCl2. So let's go back and look at sig figs. 3 and 5, so our answer will have 3. We'll be dropping this 7, and because it's 5 or bigger, that means we're going to be rounding up the 2. So as a final answer, we will have 4.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CaCl2. And there's your final answer. All right, so that's really all there is to solving for molecule to mass or mass to molecule. It might feel complicated, but it's not that big of a deal. Units, 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 okay? Watch your units, look at your units. Use those units to pick equalities. Like, should you use one mole equals molar mass in grams? Should you use one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or 6.022 times 23rd molecules? One or the other, which order to use it in? So use those units to pick your equalities and to help you set up the grid. All right? It's not that big of a deal. It's just going to take some practice. All right. That's it. Have a good one.